Hello everybody, welcome back to Balatro. Let's go and check on our stars in the collection. Stars, more stars, even more stars. Got those five, these five, these five. We do not have an egg or a burglar star. We got those two early before the patch changed. But otherwise, we got stars for everything, and we have two wins left to get with the red deck, the banner, and the dagger. There are other things I should probably be recording today, but here we are trying to get the last two jokers that I need to have a win with every joker and every deck in the demo. Let's see if the RNG gods are kind. Right, I'm going to buy this, and I'm going to buy that, and we're going to use those to get a good foundation going. With a single full house, with some odd cards in it, we should be able... Well, Drekken, this will be enough. Nowhere near enough. Fine. Much better. So we're going to wait until we have $20 to hermit that to $40. So for right now, we're just saving every penny. Show me another nine. You tried, game. You tried. Right. Having the full house is the more important part here. There's a nine. We've already seen kings. I mean, what do we get for trips? Not nearly enough. Oh, come on now. Don't do me dirty. Thank you. So we're not going to get a lot of money for this, but it's something contributing to the Hermit, at least. Telescope is always great, but we can do another round, try and get six more dollars, and then we'll worry about doubling so that we have plenty of cash. I want some odd cards to work with here. All right, I really need to get some more multiplier working for me. Three odds in here. Does a lot of good work. Alright, that's 20. That's 40. How are our hands looking? We have three full houses, three, two pairs. So, there's our full house growing larger. Do I want Burglar? I know I don't have the star for it, but that's not my urgent concern. I really want something with more malt, is what I want. That'll do for now. Come on, show me odd things. That'll do. All right, must remember, banner, dagger. I absolutely will take a juggler. We absolutely will make sure our full house gets bigger. And then I'm going to keep moving. Must play five cards. Simple stuff. Juggler just making our world so much easier. Banner. Hello. Okay, 
Make the full house bigger. Do I hold cash for interest? I'm going to buy this because it's worth six to me. Four from it and two more for abstract. Then I want to keep holding enough money that... Actually, I can play this flush instead of a full house to no real issue. Um, keep enough money so that I'm earning enough interest to buy a booster pack for planets every turn. To do that. We have now played five full houses, which is more than the four malts from this, so we'll swap those over. Could be doing some tarot packs, but we'll see how we go. I should have thrown the deuce. I was not paying enough attention. Come on now. I don't have a flush anywhere. Play the pair of fives. Wow, really? How many pairs have we played? Three against five full houses. Thank goodness. Finally gave me what I needed. Get me my interest. Burglar's back. We always do a pack. I'm going to stop rhyming. Zero discards is rough, but not that rough when you draw trip sevens. I must remember that Banner is actively contributing to us if we can remember to keep some discards around. And to that effect, I think we get Wasteful here because that's worth 20 chips to me. Come on now. I do this. It's not great. I split up the nines and the queens, and I don't love it. Much better. Great times we had. It's worth 10 malt, which this abstract is worth 10, but it also has the ride the bus benefits. I just have to remember not to use my face cards in scoring. And even if I do forget, I've still got all the benefit I had before, so I'll go with that. All of the baby straight cards you've ever seen. Well, fives are bigger than threes. That's how counting works. I would like to still play another full house if I could simply because I want to keep the telescope count high. I don't want to spam too many cards for Ride the Bus because I don't want to play high card and pair to get them to overlap, overtake full house, but 
less concern of that happening now we've got 10 count on there All of that can go. How can you not show me a three or four? It's getting daft. Oh, come on now. Thank you. Always be polite to the random number generator. All right, bus is up to an extra plus four. It's doing us no harm. Earth first. Hierophant for a pinch. I'm amazed at how infrequently we're just getting handed full houses. But our full house now at base is worth more than a flush house is, so you'd love to see that. card. I'm going to take a strength card. We could always turn some kings into aces or something. Or any even cards into odd cards, in fact. Love to see it. And then even though it's all evens, this does us absolutely no harm at all. We are smooth sailing. Take the earth. What encounter are we on? We got plant and then the finale. If you could present me with a dagger right now, I think we could win with just the power of what we've got. But beggars can't be choosers. Nines, sevens, threes. Love it. And another thousand points, nice and easy. I feel like they've handed me the banner win too easily. And now I'm going to have to fight tooth and nail for the dagger win. So, sell juggler in a minute. That's fine. Level up full house. Roll for dagger. Roll for dagger. Well, you're very pretty. But you are not a dagger I have $6 left. I'll take a Jumbo Arcana pack. I'm not going to spawn a random Joker and hope that it is the one I need. Let's just destroy these two queens. So we do our discarding while we're still holding Juggler. Right, we have aces full of sevens. Okay, we have sevens full of aces, then we're still holding two aces. Then... Another nine would be lovely. Oh, 
of God, please give me another nine. Oh, I'll take the ace. I will absolutely take the ace. Great stuff. Okay, let's log the banner win. That is a red banner. So, one left. This guy, right here. All right, well, that took 15 minutes, so let's jump straight back in and see if we can find it right now. If we get them both back to back, I'll be amazed. Um, fives full of deuces would not be a big enough full house to get the extra dollar I want. So obviously, between the telescope and the general selection of jokers, well, okay. We have another telescope opportunity here. I'm just going to take it immediately. I could have taken it and gotten too interest, but I'm thinking way too fast. And by that I mean I'm not thinking things through, I'm just hoping that I get a dagger now. They're just not going to give me a 9 or an 8, and that'll be the end of it. Thank you. Oh, it's not even going to be enough for one full house. Is this 175 points? It is. Okay. Oh my god, there's a bus, but I cannot afford it. So, we have two full houses, which is more than everything else right now. Earth is just getting handed to us, so I'll take it. Because it's the only increase in score that we have right now. Alright, and then just any reasonable hand to finish. Although, if they want to give me another full house for the count, I will be absolutely gracious to receive it. A scholar would be absolutely fine. Probably worth doing that over leveling up the full house just to increase our survivability in this early stage. My brain's still struggling to get used to having 8 cards, not 10, after having Juggler in the last round. Just give me enough cards to get a win so that I can keep this extra dollar. Yep. Good. Right. I want to take Celestial Packs. But I also need to hoard some money for interest. It's basically non-negotiable. Okay, here's a pair. And a high card. Thank goodness. Six dollars. You are my ticket to a faster future. If I can just get through this boss round, I think everything will be fine. All right, just show me a bunch of aces now. Absolutely adequate. Is that $11? 
not quite, but I will double 17. Then this is a full house upgrade. This is 10 malt when we play a full house that contains trips, which is every full house. And I'm not interested in the spectral pack, so how are we doing for full house count? Eight already, okay. Now with interest, everything should be fine. Give me all those molten chips. 4,400. Plenty for a decent full house. Oh. Don't mind if I do. So now we want to play every planet card we can. And otherwise, just keep leveling up our full house and hoarding cash to look for daggers is about all I can do right now. There is the option of taking the tags for skipping that offer red uh, uncommon jokers. Dagger is an uncommon joker. Earth and constellation stats. And Earth and Constellation stats. Hold $18 for interest. No discards here. So take what you can get. A good enough start. Thank you for the aces. I'm going to play Queen High once. And we get the trip bonus for the deuces with the full house. Should be plenty. Indeed, thank goodness. To do is a chance to earn more money. Playing straights is not going to be the most fun thing to figure out here, but if we can fish a jack or a six. In fact, now that I have the seven, I don't need to hold the queens. Now you want two pair. But what I want is a full house. But I'm going to get risky. Now you want four of a kind, huh? Unlikely. Well, here's hoping this is a three and a half thousand point hand. No, <laughs> I got too greedy. All right, we'll leave that there for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the series, please do consider subscribing and hitting that like button. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, put them down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.